thinking, don't panic, but also feeling just incredibly helpless. There was nothing that I could do. I thought about my girlfriend and my family. I knew I didn't have much time before I would be asphyxiated. That was kind of the last thing I remember. Oh shit, Went from a great day to hell in a heartbeat. Dan was partially buried and Matt had simply disappeared. You don't really have time to be shell-shocked and wonder what's going on. You don't have time to do anything other than act. Quit digging like that! Get your beacon out, turn to receive. Yeah. We knew approximately where he was, so we turned our beacons to receive Ten. and we started to search that area. Ten meters. Ten the meters. beeps on our avalanche beacon three, began two, to intensify two, as we got closer. It's almost like having a pulse, like we know he's there. So we rushed to get our probes together. It was really horrifying. I didn't really know what was up or down. I was kind of semi-conscious hearing some voices above me calling my name. No matter how hard I yelled, no one can hear me. We hit Matt with a probe, but my heart sank because he was six feet deep. When you're that deep, the odds of survival go down dramatically. We had to really dig like madmen. We were in a frenzy of trying to shovel snow out as fast as we could. And in our frenzy, we realized some of the snow that we were shoveling out was just falling back in. The digging seemed like it was two steps forward and one step back. We knew we were on the cusp of losing a friend. It was pretty desperate. That's his head. That's his head. And brushed the snow away from his face. And he was blue. Hey, give him a breath. <clears throat> and nothing happened. I went down again, and it was at that point that his eyelids sort of fluttered and opened, and uh, and he sort of came to, and we knew that he was going to come back. I just remember looking into Dan's face and Dan just bursting into tears. And then looking at Paul and he just he was completely white and he also started crying. Really the, the big thing to me is just that you should realize how much um, people love you and how sad they would be if you were killed and, you know, is it really worth it? I really feel like I got a second chance at life. My friends all had the right equipment. They had a beacon, a shovel, and probes. And more importantly, they all knew how to use them.